Guys, this is Rahul and you're watching Two Wheels in a Handlebar. Two Wheels in a Handlebar is obsessed about cycling, cyclists and cycling stories. Let's watch another video of Vedangi Kulkarni today. Vedangi Kulkarni is a 21 year old Indian origin cyclist who is also the youngest woman to cycle around the world. Let's find out how her journey started. Let's let's go back to the beginning. How did the whole thing start off? Um, I, I I got into cycling. Like I I used to ride to my school and back, and you know around the area a lot. But I wasn't into anything major. But at at some point, uh, me and a friend of mine went to went to Manali to do this, um, this small adventure with um, YHA and that was really kind of, it was good. I met some really cool people there and um, I, I met Sumit Patil there and spoke to him a lot about, you know, everything cycling and I asked him loads of questions and like I, yeah, for the whole time I was there I didn't stop asking questions. And eventually I said that I wanted to um, do Manali Kardungla, but obviously I was 17, so I wasn't going to be able to do it with any organization. So I decided that probably it would be best if, you know, I just do it by myself. So yeah, that's what happened. And my parents were in like a car following me and I was riding and yeah, it was fun. But that was kind of the beginning where I was like, oh, okay, Ooh, it's, it's hard to ride bikes. Ride? That was my first, yeah, ish. Is right? first, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, first big ride was kind of that but yeah that was the beginning of actually you know knowing that you can get from a to b and not come back home you can keep going ahead of there so yeah that was really fun but um, after that i uh, moved to the uk within a few months and once i was here i i got in touch with many other like endurance cyclists just talking to them having a chat whatever and <laughs> i knew about this route called lands and john uh, but i didn't know how important this route was or whatever so because i was registered for doing london edinburgh london i thought it would be a good idea to train by riding to john O'Groats. so i didn't know anything about bike packing then and this was only in 2017 so yeah i i spoke to people as i said and i found out like you know what do i carry and you know what 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 on earth are these epidural bags and how much can i fit in it and i didn't know that along with an epidural bag with like you know saddle bag frame bag and everything i'm not supposed to carry a backpack so i had like a massive backpack with me as well um and yeah um that happened but when i was done with that ride when i got to john O'Groats, which was Funny enough, three years ago today, I was in John O'Groats. I just got to John O'Groats. And yeah, um, when I was done with that ride, I started actually understanding what I can do. And I kind of surprised myself there because I didn't know I was, I was going to be able to do that. So um, yeah, that was like the beginning of everything for me, which wasn't that long ago, if you see, but <laughs> still. Super. So that's that's a that's a good way to start off and you know progress. But but then when was it that you know you realized that you know you can probably attempt something as big as this uh, a world record? Um, I it was during this ride that I had stopped. At, um, I knocked on a random door and this family answered and um, we got talking. I was going to stay over at theirs and they asked me if I like, you know, what was this ride and everything. And then I told them that 
I'm kind of training for this ride upcoming in August called London Edinburgh London and then I want to cycle around the world and there was no plan I just said it because why the hell not and um, I yeah I, it was it was in between it was in between finishing John O'Groves and starting London Edinburgh London that I was reading this book called This Road I Ride by Juliana Buring and she was the first woman to kind of set this record of being the fastest woman to go oh. around the world. When was and that? when I read her book, I was, um, she did it in 2010, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, when I, yeah, when I read about her stuff in the book and she, she rode 200 kilometers per day and that was it. And I read that and I was like, huh, I've done 200 kilometers on multiple occasions. If she can do that, and if I can do that, then why can't I go around the world? And I, yeah, that's, that's kind of where the whole idea was born. And, and I got planning and yeah, then it became a bit more complicated than that. That I just didn't just want to go around the world. And suddenly I wanted to get a world record and I wanted to become the fastest and youngest. And bear in mind, I was 18 when I started planning for all these things. So I, I didn't really have like a perfect plan in my mind. But yeah, I started when I was 19 eventually, but the year after. <laughs> super, super. So and, and you actually ended up doing more than 200 per day, I think. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, the way it worked out, I I was aiming to ride around the world in 100 days, yeah. and that would have been breaking the record by like a substantial amount. Yeah. And to do 200, uh, to do it in 100 days, I would have to ride 200 miles per day. That's 320 yeah. kilometers, and. I was doing it until the halfway point yeah, yeah. and yeah, so that, that came down to, yeah, around 300 kilometers per day. After that, like um, in Spain, when I had my major incident happen to me, that was when all my speed and everything was gone. Like I was no longer chasing any sort of speed record and, you know, <laughs> it was only about being the youngest one to do it at that point. But. I think yeah, I, yeah, I, I, is still open. It is, yeah. In fact, I, yeah, I might, I might go for it again uh, <laughs> in in some years. Super. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.